Hello and welcome to the Panther Spotlight. I'm Scott Miles. Please be joined by head men's soccer coach Willie Merrick as the Panthers are entering the third week of their season here in 2012. Ohio Dominican with a 1-2 and two record so far. And Coach, we'll go back and talk a little bit about the victory that you had to start out the season. A, a solid 2-1 to one effort uh, against a very good Bellarmine team out of the GLVC. Uh, Casey Weddle and, and Frazier Fernandez scoring the goals for you in that one. Talk a little bit about that match and, and being able to start the season out on a, a, a winning note. Well, yeah, that was that's just it. We uh, we were able to get a win at home for the home opener, um, and uh, by score two to one against Bellarmine, who is a very well respected GLVC team. Um, we're hoping they go on and have a great season. Um, but for our guys, it was a, a, a good win at home. Uh, saw some good things, but saw um, plenty of things that we can still improve on. So. Even though you are in, in the early going here, three matches under your belt, talk a little bit about uh, some of the, the strengths that you've seen on your team and then again some of the areas that, that you need to improve upon as you move forward into GLIAC play. Um, I, I feel some of the strengths of our team are definitely our team effort. Every, every one of the players have been um, a top class professional as far as uh, bringing their best to training um, and carrying that over to the games. As far as uh, some key strengths we have, I think overall, our attack. I mean, we're an attacking-minded team. We play a 4-2-3-1, and that, that, that allows us to uh, um, get forward quite a bit. And we have the players to do that. Um, I, we've got uh, numerous front runners that can uh, get behind the defense and create some chances for us. And we have a strong midfield um, when it comes to heart and, and effort. Um, back line is uh, technical. From a defensive standpoint, though, that's where we need to make our improvements. How do we stop the counter, the transition of our opponent? So far, uh, it's, it's a veteran team. Uh, you have uh, more than a handful of seniors here. You've also been able to work in some new faces. Talk a little bit about the, the dynamic of the squad and how they've been able to mesh so far this year. Yeah, it's a, it's a good um, uh, number as far as class. Uh, freshman class has got a good uh, quality number. Sophomore class, junior class, seniors. We have eight, and we're hoping our seniors are the ones that are going to take us as far as we want to go. They're uh, they're committed. They're as I said before, they're giving us a great effort. So they're they're leading by example, and that's all we could ask of them. Uh, as far as the younger guys, they're transitioning in well to school and classes. They've made a a, a, a great impression on the coaches during preseason. So we're really looking forward to what they can bring on the field when they get their opportunity, um, and then also looking forward to the future. Um, seasons to come where we feel they're really going to be an asset. Year three of uh, competition in Division Two in the GLIAC, what are some things that, that you've learned about the makeup of the team and, and, and competing against the, the tough conference schedule uh, as you've been moving forward? Yeah, we definitely uh, have seen everybody now for a few years, and there's no doubt that the GLIAC is top to bottom. Anybody can beat anybody on any given day. Um, you have to prepare, you have to bring that effort, you have to have a great um, game plan. Um, and if you can do that, then you have a chance that day. If you slack in any one of those departments, there's a good chance you're not going to come out with the result you want. So, very tough conference. And you're going to uh, have your first GLIAC road trip of the season uh, coming up this weekend on Friday, taking on GLIAC newcomer Notre Dame, uh, which has won 21 straight matches, and then Sunday uh, a matchup against Lake Erie, both of those in uh, Cleveland this weekend. Talk a little bit about those teams and your preparations this week for them. Uh, Notre Dame, definitely. 21 game winning streak. Sounds intimidating, looks intimidating, um, but we're excited about it. We think it's a great opportunity for us to go up there and be the first team in 22 games to have beaten them. Um, we feel good. We're, we're training hard. We're, we're preparing well for them. We'll definitely give them our best shot. Um, when it comes to Lake Erie on Sunday, GLIAC team, conference opponent, very important game. Um, and we, we hope we're, uh, we're prepared for them. Obviously, uh, Friday night will tell us what our preparations will be for Sunday against Lake Erie. All right, Coach Merrick, thank you for your time today, and uh, good luck this weekend. For more updates on the Ohio Dominican men's soccer team, remember you can always log on to our website, www.ohiodominicanpanthers.com for full stats and recaps from this weekend's matchups. For Coach Merrick, I'm Scott Miles. This has been the Panther Spotlight.